Hello everyone and welcome to another Fortnite video and I have improved. Actually, but I made this video a while ago. I was just focused on Super Mario Odyssey. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of kind of working on the last part now is a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff that I want to put in the last part, and yeah, it's taking longer than expected, so I thought I would set up this video that I've had on the back burner for commentation. So, like I mentioned before, I like to go ahead and scrimmage with people over here in the lobby whenever I start out here. It's kind of a laggy place, though, on the Switch, but eh, eh, it's fine anyway, so I just kind of mess around here, trying to shoot people, having a good time, and... But but eventually, I I notice something that's that's going on off to the side. This right here, we got, <laughs> we got these two T-posing here, but I, I think what we're witnessing is a love story, and I'm like, Wait a second, I have to watch this. Oh, jeez. He's really trying to swoon her. How will this turn out? Oh, no, she maced him! No! No! He's been rejected. Don't give up, man. Don't give up. <laughs> Yeah, that, I just thought that was pretty silly. <laughs> Alright, the game has begun. I've also got a bunch of stuff that I'd like to clarify along the way. Uh, well, whenever there's like downtime, I'm just playing around here waiting for the right drop. I wait until I'm semi close to like parallel to where I want to drop. In this case, it's the block because I've been kind of scouting out that super special mega treasure chest that always contains some sort of gold item. <laughs> so I've been trying to gather that up in various games, and in this case I've got I've got a pretty good lead on getting over there, so I think this will be a pretty nice drop, so here we are. So as you see, I'm, I'm kind of like trying to figure out my angles here is to try and get inside this building because at the back altar is where that treasure chest is so I'm just gonna I'm trying to get my swoop in there as quick as possible but well I was kinda kinda weak in the smooth department but ah eh, that's okay I got that chest got a proximity grenade launcher which is going to come in very handy I heard someone right behind me. That's why I wanted to peek over there to, uh, you know, start shooting if need be, because I heard someone trailing me. Always be aware of your surroundings, and you can hear someone off to my right right now, but I'm just gonna continue on doing my exploration here, seeing what I can get while I have time to get it. I'm taking a peek as I hear him going around, and I'm like, hmm, then I come in here, or do they realize that I've got the chests? I think... They realize I've got the chests. But yeah, I could be farming for materials as well, by the way. Definitely grab highly accurate assault rifles like that. <laughs> the scar. So yeah, I got a pretty good start going here, aside from not having any shield or anything like that. But I'm just kind of listening around here to see. I'm pretty sure that player, you can see that they made the stairs over there, is not there anymore. But I'm just trying to be sure that there aren't any other players nearby. Uh, while I'm harvesting for stuff, and I, I look, I looked at these things popping through the ceiling. I'm like, what the heck are these things? I'm able to destroy it. Well, when I go down to the uh, lower area, you'll be able to see, be able to see what they are. They're the chandeliers hanging from the ceiling that stick out there in different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see that? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna keep on harvesting. Very important to gain materials while you're fighting people, or not fighting people, <laughs> as in the case of this is. It's very weird that some objects just kind of float in midair like that. And look at this, I can search. Th <laughs> I can search through the object there to get the ammo box. It's, yeah, there's, there's some very weird things about the block, and that's also why I kind of come to the blocks to see what quirks there might be here, just for kicks. So I got a kick out of that, but you know, I wasn't commentating at the time as I was concentrating, but I, I still got a laugh at that, and I'm, I'm right now I'm just seeing um, my... because I, I, I still kind of at this point am kind of iffy with the whole 
uh, like, total control over myself there, and I was like, hmm, if I want to target something and get rid of the targets, how do I point at that? Well, the thing about it I, I found out later was that you actually point at the arrow thingy and not where you point it at, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird. But yeah, <laughs> not at that particular time I, I figured it out, but I, but I was like, eh, as long as I don't hear anybody, I might as well play around with that. So I'm basically beginning to leave the area here because the storm is uh, coming my way, but I will pick up stuff along the way. I I don't know no, I, I don't know if I should have grabbed that turret. Those aren't very good. <laughs> they got buffed after uh, like a certain point after I made this video, but they still weren't really all that good, and they eventually got vaulted. <laughs> it's just the the downsides of not being able to move with the turret just kind of kind of messes things up. <laughs> uh, I like that you go ahead and use this zip line over here because um, typically, unless someone has raided the place, there's usually one to three chests in this little house here and uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, there's no one. <laughs> Just wanted to be sure. That proximity grenade launcher explodes grenades, well, yeah, when they're in proximity of the opponent. And I decided to take this route down over here instead of the zip line down to the other side to take a more direct route through there and whatnot. And yeah, you can use the floors as you're dropping down as fall damage prevention and whatnot. I'm still not at maximum shield at this point or anything like that, but eh, I'm, I'm okay. Ish. I mean, I've got shadow bombs at the far right of my inventory there for mo mobility, some bandages, and yes, I went for the peach ball for the summer challenges. <laughs> That's also partly why I went through there. Uh, but, you know, it's it's pretty easy to get a beach ball as long as you get through there. And I'm like, is there anyone here? Because this is definitely human built. But no, they already left. Probably when they seen the storm a coming, they decided to get a run in. Or something like that, I, don't, I guess you could say. So I build up here. I'm not doing, like, super strong structures, for one thing, because I'm not all that good at doing them at this point. And also to save materials as, well, I haven't really farmed as much as I thought I did. <laughs> but that's okay. We're gonna get a bunch of materials soon enough, I assure you. I'm just using the slipstream here to get ahead of the storm get ahead of the people, maybe get some kills. I'm Basically right now I'm just talking strategy and what I'm doing here for, yeah. <laughs> More than anything I guess you could say, but oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get into some battles soon enough, let me tell you. But yeah, sometimes in games you don't, you like you get into battles right away, other games, it can sometimes take a while to find somebody, or maybe you're not in the right position to battle somebody or something like that. I really should be farming for more materials, but at this point I'm still not quite as good as I am now that I'm talking over this, but I'm... <laughs> well, I'm still not like super mega pro or anything like that, but I mean, what I mean is that I'm... Uh, I've gotten better since I made this video, basically, and I can kind of give you the rundown of things that I think I could have done better and whatnot to maybe help you along the way. By the way, these stone structures give a ton of materials, like, yeah, like these stone piles that are just flopping around there, yeah. And also these big trees. I'm trying not to totally destroy them if I can help it, because if I destroy the whole tree that'll alert people of my location, and I'd rather catch people off guard if at all possible. I- uh, 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 I'm still not used to the builds. <laughs> <laughs> we're okay, we're okay, we have, we have recovered, because there's no one by us. <laughs> but I do hear someone coming, right about here. I'm like, uh-oh, where is this person? I hear it to my left, okay, there it is. Begin shooting at the baller! And they put up a wall. I'm like, hmm, I got the proximity grenade launcher, which explodes in their direction, so I might as well bomb them a little bit to see their location. Yeah, I see, I see you popping over there, and I took care of them. No problem-ish. <laughs> Ish is the key word. <laughs> so yeah, that that's where I got a bunch of my materials from. 
And I also, for some reason, I don't remember why I did it, but I decided to look in here. I was like, what? Did, I don't know why I did that. Maybe I was looking to see how much, how much damage I caused or something like that to the materials or whatnot. Because it's... I, maybe there is some sort of challenge I was like cause this so and so much damage to structures or or whatnot. I don't remember <laughs> And just kind of explaining things as I go. I'm almost maxed out in wood I typically use wood at this point because you could see Then the most stuff through it based on the gaps of course that means opponents can see you through the gaps But you know, you know, it's just kind of a beginner's thing that I'm <laughs> that, I, that I have here I like, later on, I get more into, like, edits and stuff like that, but... Anyway, I hear a treasure chest up above here, so I think, hmm, can I make this jump up here without materials? Yes! Yes, I can! <laughs> of course I can. And now, at this point, I'm thinking, hmm, what do I want to keep? And so I'm like, hmm, 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 just kind of playing around here. <laughs> do I want to drop the grenade launcher? Because I don't have much ammo for it. I'm not sure about that assault rifle drop. That seems too good to drop. So then I'm looking for people. I'm like, hmm, wait, 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 no, 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 that's just leaves. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about during this downtime here was I, I said that I wasn't sure if I was like totally into this game. Well, that's not like, like it's it, I, 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 it's so it's kind of hard to describe, <laughs> and I, I think people got the wrong idea of what I was talking about. Like they were like, uh, of course you're not going to be good at the game if you're not into the game, which is true. But the thing about it is that I I, I kind of just don't want to get attached, if that makes sense. Because it's an online game, and you know, online games are temporary experiences and whatnot. So, I, you know, I, I, I basically mean that I don't want to get too attached to things more than anything. But I, I fear that I may have already gotten attached because I sunk a pretty good amount of hours into this. No money, though, just all free play and whatnot, whatever I've come across. And uh, I was also thinking about the whole, um, that I'm iffy with uh, shooters in general that I, that I have said, but thinking about that too, that may not entirely be true either, because I've 100%ed relatively or pretty hard shooters like Jet Force Gemini on the N64, you know, that's a pretty difficult and annoying game to 100%, let me tell you. <laughs> um, but another thing about online experiences is that they're always changing often, like right now Season 10, or Season X I guess you could say, um, is kind of broken in a, <laughs> in a lot of aspects, so I haven't been playing it all that much. I'm hoping that they'll fix it in 10.1 or something like that, but there's a lot. There's stuff like the mechs which are way overpowered, there's a lot of lag spikes and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of a mess right now. <laughs> Anyway, as you can tell, I'm, I'm basically watching for a person that I see scouting out the area, but I'm not exactly sure where the person is. <laughs> I like these little structures that are partially broken down with holes to shoot through them because the opponent can't tell exactly where the detection is for the bullets to go through, but I can because I'm right up close to them, so I can avoid taking hits that way. So there's another little tip for you, although I'm... I'm not the most aggressive player at this point, too, so if you're going for, like, mega kills, you're probably not going to want to camp out like this. <laughs> you're going to be wanting to seek out everyone and everything. And I'm like, wait a second. What was that? What was that? Panic, 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 panic! Now we're okay. <laughs> Just look, keep looking around. You know the person is somewhere down there, but the question is, where do they drop to? Because they have that quad crasher there that they left in the slip stream for some reason. It, it's actually slowly destroying itself by, by slamming up and down like that on the ground. It's lowering its own HP, which is kind of silly. Um, but, well, I guess the player just figured, eh, I don't need that anymore. See, it's gone now. It just exploded. I was like, what? What? Oh, no, that was the quad crasher. <laughs> and so I'm just... Uh oh, wait a second. You hear that? There's a person! It's found me! <laughs> I was thought, oh wait, 
Can I go th I Oh, I can't go through there. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Well, I'm kind of in a predicament. So maybe I should try this a different way. Try and find the location with the proximity grenades, which that did not work, but at least I know where the person is about. And I'm just gonna like make a little noise here to see if I can get them to flop onto some hole. But I think it's gonna come from up above, which I am correct based on that, because they always go for height, it seems like, and watch us. It's gonna peak. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, oh. Oh jeez, it's a standoff of the ages! And I really should reload my gun at some point, because I'm gonna come low here, but I just managed to get it on the last bullet. <laughs> so that's two kills there. I unfortunately lost my roof in that skirmish, because I shot out the roof to get the person, but yeah. <laughs> that's okay, I've got... A whole bunch of stuff here that I kind of don't want to leave behind as well, including the combat shotgun. That's my favorite shotgun I found. It still is, even after they uh, nerfed it a little bit, because it's just so versatile. And I'm like, hmm, do I want the heavy or do I want the combat? No, I'm sticking with the combat. It has served me well. <laughs> I heard some other fighting going on. I'm just trying to look where it is. I, it is. I do think it is down that way, and I was right about that, as you'll see later on. But I am now in the top ten players here, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty, including the storm. I end up right in the eye of the storm there, so I'm okay to stay in place if need be. I I think I should be putting up a wall to my right just for the sake of safety, but you know, beginner's mistake. But it didn't really come into factor here, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still looking for players here in my camping session, which does look very amateur and is probably a very boring playstyle, but, well, I'm just kind of trying to learn the ropes here at this point, so... <laughs> anyway, so I'm just checking the map here, I'm just removing my markers, I keep seeing it pop up on the, on the uh, map there, and I'm like, oh, is that someone? No, that's my marker, so I'm like, get rid of the marker, and I'm like, oh, shoot at that guy. Yeah! Shield is gone! And now here's where some strategy comes in. I'm like, you know, I'm not sure where the person is, so you know what I should do? Grab that proximity grenade launcher, remember this? And then shoot at certain places to try and figure out their location. I shoot over there, that is a miss, so that means they're more to the left. And if I shoot about there, it'll blow up their wall then. If I shoot above that, that should hit him, and it did, and I'll oh, put up a wall that blocked my shot. But now I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot, try and shoot out some of the walls to try and bait them to go out to one side, and then shoot above there for a ricochet, but it turns out that it hits the person, so it didn't even need the ricochet as the person must have been starting to build up there. And that's the third KO I've got there. And now... We're down to the last four players. The nitty gritty of doom. Oh, my Arceus. <laughs> so I'm thinking I, I should probably put that there so all my weapons are together. Get them all nice and organized in case I need to switch through them quickly. I think I can hear the last couple of players up there. And all over to my left at this point. But I'm just waiting to see if I can get a clear shot at someone over there. Or or off to the left for that matter. See, I keep peeking over there. And I'm like, eh, mm, let's see what I can do if I move myself into this position over here. Because I think the person to my left is at a low spot that can't actually aim at me. I'm going to shoot a grenade over there. Which actually hits. <laughs> this next one doesn't hit though. And I was going to reload there, but then I found out, ooh, I'm on my last grenade. Ooh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that I was going to drop it because it had low ammo in general. I didn't know of its usefulness, but, well, I might as well keep it because it is quite a useful weapon, I'm still thinking, so. I still have it at this point. I'm still peeking around there. I did, oh, heavy sniper. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and make a break for it here. I'm watching the player up there, and... Ooh, shoot. You you should be guarding yourself behind Pika Gams. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. I'm trying to get myself up to that player. 
especially since the circle, you know, the storm circle is around in that direction. And I'm like, if I get shot down here, that's okay. I won't take fall damage because it's very inclining. And I'm like, wait, I gotta build up here. Oh shoot, I'm building up above me. Panic, 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 panic. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, we're okay. We're okay. Calm down. Calm down. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, maybe not, but I'm basically saying that, wait, I don't have to take that route. All I need to do is get into the storm circle over on that side there. And I'm gonna use a shadow bomb here just to get into that circle rather than approach someone because I would rather have them come to me than me come to them. I don't know why I didn't use it earlier, but... <laughs> so then I get over between these trees and I begin building my impenetrable fortress of two layers as quick as I can. Now I decide not to put a floor here because if I get shot out then I'll be dropped between my wall and the other walls so that I'm like yeah that, that's kind of a good strategy even if it's not super strong it's like a beginner strategy and also see how it's jittering around here look at my ping it was at 1000 I'm having some lag spikes going on here so I was like oh that's not good and I think the person is oh yeah see even lagging there it looks like I got shot when the person wasn't even peeking out there but that's okay we're still okay and I'm like, oh wait, wait, what would I do? What would I do? Okay, okay, we're, we're back in, we're back in track. <laughs> oh shoots, oh shoots! This is the last two people I realize. That person must kill the person that was above and behind me. And I figured I'm gonna shoot a grenade so it hits him behind the tree, but no, he immediately pops out and starts building. But at least the person realizes that I have the launcher, even though I don't have any ammo. But he doesn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he's building some extra high walls to avoid my like, proximity grenade. In my tracking there, I was a little bit behind, so I missed. And I'm gonna keep watching here, I got a little tick there. I'm gonna keep following him while avoiding the storm here and look for opportunities, if at all possible. Yep, just like that. I could be building as well, but right now, because I think I've got a health advantage, I figured I should just keep aiming for shots and hope for the best, and listen for the weapon switch. Headshot for the win. I was like, emote, 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 oh, I forgot how to emote. And I was like, ah, forget it, I won anyway. <laughs> so what I was waiting for my opponent there to do was to switch from building to weapons, which you could hear by that click. And as soon as I knew the click was coming, the building would stop, and then I'd be able to take a, a really clean shot. And so I did. <laughs> and there we go. That is my first victory royale with four kills. It was messy. But I did it. <laughs> so I've gotten decent enough at the game that I am now capable of winning. Not consistently, especially with Season X issues, as I, as I mentioned. It's like luck-based, the lag spikes, but yeah. But I mean, like, if, if, if everything was peachy keen, I think I, yeah, <laughs> I think it would be pr pretty close games in a lot of cases now, maybe. Unless I was, like, in a lobby full of mega pros or something like that. <laughs> so after getting a victory, you have earned your umbrella, or in this case, umbrellas. See, umbrellas, you only get, well, I should say umbrellas like this, you only get for winning a game, yeah, I, I let it run out, so this is the basic umbrella you get for any win. It is beautiful, so beautiful. Anything that you can't just buy is beautiful, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> but this is my favorite of the two, the holographic glider. Woo! And there we go. Needless to say, I go ahead and equip that holographic one right away. Yeah, I got that as well. I actually 100% of the entire 14 days of summer, as well as the um, birthday one, as well as the uh, skateboarding one. So I got all those sorts of dealios. And with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.